1998. In a process of, in a certain process, 500 joules of heat is supplied to a system. 500 uh, joules of heat is supplied to a system means the system is absorbing heat. Therefore, delta Q should be equal to plus 500 joules. While 100 joule of work is done on the system, 100 joule of work is done on the system. That means delta W is minus, minus 100 joules. This work done on the system, not by the system. So they are asking for the change in internal energy. Uh, should not be very hard, this one. Pretty, pretty straightforward. We can use the equation delta Q equals delta U plus delta W. And uh, delta Q. For delta Q, we have substitute 500. For delta U, you will have you have to find out. And for delta W, careful, you have to substitute uh, minus 100 because work is done on the system. Therefore, delta U will be 500 plus 100. And the final answer is going to be uh, plus 600 joules. Delta U. Right. So when since it's plus 600 joules, it should be increased by 600 joules delta U. Right. That's how you have to approach this question. An ideal gas uh, can be taken from an initial state I to A. Final state F. Yeah, I to uh, a final state F. This is the initial state. This is the final state. Right. Okay. Uh, by the processes I F I O I A. Okay, so they have given us three processes. One is this, one is this, and one is this. There are three processes. Hope you can see. So you start from I to go, and then you go to A, then you go to one. You directly go from I to F two. You go from I to B to F. That's another process, right? Maximum work is done by system during the process I A F. We're talking about statement A. Work done. We are talking about delta W. Delta W will be uh, compared using area under the curve for each process. Okay, so work done. What process will have the highest work done? Obviously, that will be uh, first IAF will have the highest work done because IAF you have to find the area under IA line. All right, and after that, we will have IF process because. Uh, you have to take the area under IF line. And finally, IBF process, it's just the area under I, sorry, BF, area under BF. That's all. Because during IB and AF, no work done. Huh? Delta W is zero for processes uh, who? Uh, a, a to F and uh, I to B. Okay, so is it correct? Yes, maximum work is done uh, during IAF. That we can take it as correct. The change in internal energy of the system is same for all three processes. That's correct. Why is that? Explaining statement B, um, change in internal energy is going to be this change in internal energy is going to be in for all processes. For all three processes, remember, for all three processes. If you want to find the change in internal energy, it should be internal energy final minus internal energy initial. For all three, look at the final internal energy. That will be uh, UF minus U. Right. So for all three processes, you start at I, you finish at F now, people. So that is also correct. The maximum heat absorption occurs during process IBF. What is that heat absorption? Now, if you focus on statement C, uh, heat absorption. So we have to use the equation delta Q equals delta U plus delta W. Heat absorption I means this is not people, right? Fine. And uh, for all three processes, area is sorry, work done is plus no? because volume is increasing. For all three, work done should be plus because volume is increasing. Huh? So I'll just put plus for each. All will be plus. Why? Because uh, volume increases. As long as volume increases during a process, work done will be positive. Right. So uh, 
for all three delta q is same for all three processes delta u is same sorry delta u is same. delta u uh, same so delta q depends on delta w whoever has highest delta w has highest delta q so when you compare delta q who had highest iaf had highest and then if had next and then ibf similarly delta q also should take the same uh, order if then ibf okay because uh, this is the equation delta u is same for all three and delta w is plus for all three because volume is increasing for all three processes therefore delta q is equal to delta u constant value plus delta w whoever has higher delta w will have uh, higher delta Q. Uh, but in the statement C, they are saying maximum heat absorption occurs during process IBF. That is incorrect. Should have been IAF. Okay. Delta Q max is for process IAF. Therefore, we can settle to answer what? Fourth one. Correct. Fourth one should be the answer. An ideal gas is taken through a cyclic process as shown in the PV diagram. If UB is greater than UA, okay, UB is here is uh, UB, the internal energy at point B, and internal energy at point A is given as UA, and UB is greater than UA. Fine. So, uh, okay, right. Consider the following statements. Now, before because uh, they have given this, let's focus on something. Uh, from A to B, from a to B, all right, delta U, it's going to be plus because delta U is from A to B, delta U is UB minus U, final minus initial, final minus initial, therefore it should be a positive value. So delta U is plus from A to B. On the other hand, when you go from B to A, the equation for delta U is going to be UA minus UB, final minus initial. So for that process, delta U is negative. Okay, right. Um, okay, the network done by the gas is positive for whole process. Network done by the gas is positive for whole process. Right. The network done by the gas is positive for the whole process. So when you say the whole process, they are talking about the cycle, right? So for that we have to get the area of the whole process. So when you take the area of the whole process, uh, area is equal to delta W. Right. Okay. Is it plus or minus? It is um, plus. Why is it plus? Because it is clockwise. The process takes place clockwise. Whenever a cyclic process takes place clockwise, the um, work done, we can take this plus. Therefore, it's correct. Let's move to the next one. Heat is absorbed along path AB, whereas heat is liberated along path BA. Okay, what about that? Now, talking about the second statement, um, statement B, this is for explanation for statement A. Yeah, okay, fine. Statement B, uh, A to B. So, when you go from A to B, okay, let's apply uh, delta Q equal delta U plus delta W. When you go from A to B, what about delta U? It's a positive value. And when you go from A to B, delta W is also a positive value. Why is that? Delta U is positive value because uh, of, of course, uh, internal energy increases. They have told because uh, it's already given to us, UB is bigger than UA. And why is delta W plus? Because volume increases. When the volume increases, delta W will be plus. So if both delta U and delta W are plus, definitely delta Q also has to be what? Plus. It also has to be plus. Right? And similarly, when you go from B to C, what is happening? When you go from B to C, delta Q equals delta U plus delta W. From B to C, people, we have already, B to A, B to A, sorry, B to A, we have already found out that delta U is minus. Delta W is also minus because from the B to C, volume is reducing. So B to A, sorry, B to A, volume is reducing. So if both delta U and delta W are minus, delta Q has to be minus. So from A to B, heat absorbed. And from B to A, delta Q is minus, therefore heat liberated or released. 
so what are they saying in the statement heat is absorbed along path a to b whereas heat is liberated along path b to a correct good next one the temperature of the gas at the beginning of the process is same as that at the end of the process yeah that is also correct now people because you start at a you come back to a it's a cyclic process so at a same temperature again if you come back to a it's the same temperature read the question again the temperature of the gas at the beginning of the process is same as at the end of the process they are talking about a cyclic process so it should be correct starting at a coming back to a therefore that also should be correct answer should be fifth at a particular state temperature will be always constant right so yeah Natural gas is taken from uh, state A to B to state uh, B separately along three paths as shown in PV diagram. Now here they are taking uh, when the gas uh, is changing its state from the same state to the other state, but the thing is the paths are different. Paths are different. All right, fine. Uh, if U B is greater than U A, okay, that's already given. We have. Uh, Even in the previous question, we discussed about this. U B is greater than U A. Consider the following statements. Right, the work done by the gas is same for all three processes. That is incorrect. Okay, because work done is greater for process one than process two than process three. Why is that? Because uh, area under curve. We have to consider the area under the curve for processes. Okay, so for third one, it's just the area under this curve. For second one, area under that. First one, larger area will come under that curve. Correct. So that's wrong. They are saying it's same. It's 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 not same. Right. Next one. Heat is absorbed when gas is taken along path one, whereas heat is liberated when taken along path three. Now I think that is incorrect because for all three processes. Okay, people. For all three processes, what's happening? We know uh, volume is increasing. Volume increase. Volume increases. So when volume increases, that means we know delta V is positive. So delta W should be positive for all three processes. For all three processes. And uh, first point. That is first point. And second point. Uh, delta U is also plus. Delta U is plus. Why? Because U B is bigger than U A, right? Then uh, what about delta Q B? Well, then delta Q is equal to delta U plus delta W. Therefore, uh, for all three processes, delta U and delta W are positive. That means definitely delta Q also has to be positive. But in statement B, they are saying heat is absorbed when gas is taken along path one, whereas heat is liberated when taken along path three. That is incorrect. During both the in both the paths. Heat will be absorbed, but the amount of heat absorbed will be different. Where will we have highest delta Q? Where will we have highest delta Q? Now, for all three systems, delta U is same. So, wherever we have higher delta W, you will have higher delta Q. So, we have uh, delta W higher in one. Therefore, delta Q also will be higher in one, two, three. This is how the order is going to be. In case if they ask you to find out, right? The Temperature of the gas at state B is higher than that of state A. Do you agree with that? Yes. Why? Because U B is greater than U A. Internal energy is given by the equation. Internal energy, not change in internal energy. Internal energy is given by the equation three by two N R T. So if temperature, sorry, if internal energy is high, temperature must be high because U B is. Greater than U A, that is given in the question already. See, right? So only C is correct. Therefore, answer must be third for this question. Seventh question is from two thousand four, and they are asking for the work done during the thermodynamic uh, cyclic process. Right? Fine. So how do you find the work done when whenever they have given you a cyclic process? You find the work done by finding the area of the enclosed polygon. Here, the polygon we are getting is a triangle. All right. So work done. Delta W will be equal to area. So what is the area? Half into base. Now you have to be a little careful. Base is this length. That is two V. And height is this length. That is three P. All right. So half into base into height. Therefore, the answer is going to be three P V. That is the value of delta W. And it is 
happening clockwise therefore it should be positive too but we are not asking about whether it's positive or negative positive and work done by the gas all the room third one should be the answer okay right and then next question is uh, eight talking about eighth one what about this figure shows a pv diagram of a perfect gas subjected to a cyclic process a b c a okay in this process right fine mm, cyclic process people therefore you start at point a and you return to point a therefore delta u cycle we all know delta u cycle is how much zero for a cyclic process change in internal energy is always zero because you start at point a you return to point a no change in temperature comparing to the final and initial state work done must be found find found out work done right let's start with work done delta w is the area and uh, right what is the area now area again uh, this is 2 2 meter cube 2 and this height is 3 newton meter minus 2 now you have to be mindful about the uh, units as well sometimes they might give you kilo newton kilo pascal stuff like that so you have to be little careful there right so here 3 and here 2 area is half into base into height and the value is 3 joules 3 joules now the point uh, you have to be careful about is the fact that whether it's positive or negative it is positive why is it positive because it is clockwise a b c d it's clockwise it's clockwise right fine um, but the question is about delta q whether heat is absorbed or released we all know the equation for delta q that is delta q equals delta u plus delta w delta q equals delta u is 0 for the cycle delta w is 3 for the cycle therefore delta q is equal to plus 3 joules it is absorbed by the system it is absorbed by the system all right answer must be first for us an ideal gas undergoes the cyclic path a b c a in the pv diagram shown b c is an isothermal be okay uh, in the pv diagram shown bc is an isothermal thermical path what is an isothermal path so we will be learning about that uh, in a while isothermal path means people uh, constant temperature if a process takes place under constant temperature conditions we call it isothermal and for that path delta u will be zero okay the work done by the gas during one cycle is nearly equal to now the point is in this question that a delta, uh, delta u zero we that doesn't have anything to do they want, why they have mentioned that is they are saying that is not a straight line that's what they are indicating by that that line is not a straight line because we all know when temperature is constant now this is not uh, this is not a straight line huh? when this is the straight line which is connecting c and b if i draw a straight line connecting c and b give me a second if you draw a straight line connecting c and b it will look like this but from b to c the path is curved that's what they are trying to say uh, if you want me to elaborate that further i can say this now if when temperature is constant okay when temperature is constant we know uh we can use boyle's law correct when temperature is constant pv is equal to constant boyle's law so for boyle's law when you plot the graph for p and v we have learned in previous lessons the graph should have a shape like this that's why from b to c the shape is not a straight line it's a curve okay right so they are asking for the work done first and foremost we know the work done is given by the area of the graph is it work done is given by the area of the graph so we have to find the area the issue is it is not a shape we can directly find the area it's not a triangle it's not a triangle nor a quadrant of a circle or something like that so this area is only going to give us the work done and let's try to find out whether it's plus or minus now a b b c a again it's anti clockwise therefore delta w is negative delta w is definitely negative therefore first and second and third are wrong it should be a negative answer and then let's do something like this uh, let's find the area of the triangle okay not this area area of the blue part let's find the area of triangle area of triangle a b c area of triangle abc yeah not the highlighted shape what is the area of the triangle abc that is going to be half multiplied by um 
this length is uh, 3 and this height is in fact uh, 300 is it 300 so it's half into 3 into 300 and that's going to be 450 450 is the area of the triangle so area of uh, highlighted part highlighted part should be less than 450 that is the assumption you have to make in such questions there's only one answer which is less than 450 and that's going to be 300 and why 300 because it is anti-clockwise when the loop is anti-clockwise work done is minus because anti-clockwise okay hope this is clear an ideal gas is taken through a thermodynamic cycle as shown in the figure path one to two is isothermal okay this is very important process one to two is isothermal i mentioned when uh, process is isothermal what is the meaning of isothermal isothermal means uh, constant temperature isothermal means uh, constant temperature therefore uh, delta u is zero right delta u is zero therefore the first point you can uh, get from this is delta u from one to two that is zero yeah right and uh, during uh, the process 60 joule of heat enters the system during the process 60 joule of heat enters the system that means delta q from 1 to 2 is plus 60 okay they are describing process 1 to 2 and 60 joule is enters during the system that means system has absorbed 60 joules process 2 to 3 takes place at constant volume constant volume right talking about process 2 to 3 now <coughs> the arrow is missing in the diagram process 2 to 3 you can see it's a vertical line therefore volume is constant then what, what is the conclusion we can make using that? Uh, delta V from 2 to 3 is 0. So, conclusion is delta W from 2 to 3 must be 0. Okay. And during this process, 40 joule of heat leaves the system. 40 joule of heat leaves the system. Therefore, delta Q 2 to 3, it's going to be minus 40 joules because heat is released from the system. The change in internal energy in the process 3 to 1. They are asking delta u 3 to 1. That is the question. Delta u 3 to 1. Right. Okay. So we know delta u from 1 to 2. They have told it's isothermic, therefore it's 0. Using these two information, we can find out delta 2 u from uh, 2 to 3. How is that? For 2 to 3. Let's apply delta Q equal delta U plus delta W. What is delta Q from 2 to 3 minus 40 equal to delta U from 2 to 3 plus delta W from 2 to 3 is what? Zero people. It's a constant volume process. So finally, you can you will end up in delta U from 2 to 3 is equal to minus 40 joules. And on the other hand, the last part, delta U cycle. What is delta U cycle? It's zero. Okay, delta U cycle is zero. What is the meaning of cycle? Uh, for a cyclic process, the change in internal energy is going to be zero because you will be starting at a point, you will be returning to the same point. That is, important. and then uh, each process, delta U during each process can be added, and that will be that will give you the delta U of the whole cycle. It's zero. Now we know delta U one to two is given as zero plus delta U two to three is minus forty. And delta u 3 to 1 is what we are supposed to find out. And the other side is 0. So ultimately, delta u 3 to 1, it's going to be equal to plus 40 joules. Plus 40 joules. Okay. Have they given minus 40? Yeah. So you have to be careful. Answer should be plus 40. Hope you understood this. An ideal guess. Next question is from 2008. An ideal gas undergoes the cyclic process as shown in the figure. Consider the following statements. So this is the cyclic process they have given. Right. Let's first analyze this a little bit and then we'll go to the question. Huh? Right. First of all, you can see this part, this, this uh, loop is actually completed. This loop is completed. And um, this is um, plus. This is, you uh, know, here it's clockwise, correct? Clockwise for this part, delta W is positive. Because it's clockwise, you see, it goes clockwise. Because it's clockwise. Right. And the other part, 
the bottom part there's another loop here and for that loop delta w is going to be negative isn't it delta w is going to be negative there because it is anti clockwise it's going in the opposite direction anti clockwise because counter clockwise right so that we have we can uh, decide let's start over a complete cycle a net network is done by the gas network is done by the gas okay uh, delta now we have to focus on delta w cycle delta w cycle i'll say this as uh, I'll, i'll name this delta w1 i'll name this delta w2 all right so delta w of the cycle is going to be given by delta w1 plus delta w2 since the area of the larger cycle is bigger and it is positive we definitely can say delta w cycle is also positive because this is positive this is a negative value this is a positive value this is a negative value and the positive value is larger than the negative value therefore ultimately the work done by the cycle is positive if delta w is plus we can say work done by the gas if delta w is plus therefore first one is correct okay right over a complete cycle over a complete cycle key term a uh, heat goes out of the gas heat goes out of the gas right over a complete cycle what, what about uh, over a complete cycle when you say over a complete cycle we can say uh, you are starting at the same point and you are finishing at the same point as well therefore delta u will be zero over a complete cycle and we know delta q is equal to delta u plus delta w now delta q u is zero delta w is plus therefore delta q has to be plus if delta q is plus what is the conclusion we we can get we, the conclusion we can get is heat is absorbed by the system heat is absorbed by the system not released from the system by system hope you guys understood that so this is incorrect huh? this is wrong second part is wrong because they are saying it goes out of the system we have proved that it's it goes in the system the temperature of the gas remains unchanged throughout the cycle that is also wrong why right? temperature of initial and final are same but when you move through the throughout the cycle you when you change the pressure and volume the temperature will change accordingly so here you will have uh, you know different places different temperatures because from here when you take this point pv multiplication will be different when you take this point pv multiplication will be different therefore temperature will change but initial temperature and final temperature will be same that's why delta u is zero that doesn't mean throughout the process temperature remains constant no that's incorrect because you can see as you move from one point to another the pv multiplication will change as pv multiplication changes temperature also has to change therefore only a is correct we can settle to the first term hope that is clear to everyone the next question is from year 2009 and they have given us a pv diagram and based on that we have to do some analysis let's start figure shows a closed pv cycle for an ideal gas a closed pv cycle for an ideal gas therefore we know delta u for the cycle can be considered as zero the change in internal energy along path ca is minus 160 joule so delta u c to a is minus 160 joules the heat transferred <coughs> to the gas along path ab heat transferred to the gas that means delta q uh, ab plus 200 because heat is given to the gas so gas is absorbing the heat that's done and 40 joules along path bc heat transferred to the gas 40 joule along bc so again delta q bc is equal to plus 40 plus and minus signs are very important if heat is absorbed by the system delta q is plus if heat is released from the system delta q is minus the work done by the gas along ab the work done by the gas along ab is what we are supposed to find out interesting interesting all right so hmm all right all right now let's analyze each process one after the other okay each process one after the other now what is delta w bc we will delta w b c it has to be zero why constant volume when the volume is constant uh, there won't be any work done because volume is constant volume is constant 
So work done is zero. Right. So for process now, you can see I have taken this portion for process C A, this portion for process A B, this portion for post process B C separately. Right. So for process B C, let's apply a first law of thermodynamics. Delta Q equals delta U plus delta W. Delta Q is equal to 40 plus 40. Delta U we have to find out. We will need that, I think, plus delta W is zero. Therefore, delta U B to C can be taken as 40 joules, plus 40 joules. Not just 40, better to say plus 40 joules. Now, why am I doing this? I need to find out work done by the gas along AB, delta W AB. To find delta W AB, I need the other two components, that is delta Q and delta U. Now, delta Q AB, we know that. But delta U A B, we still don't know that. We are we are supposed to find that. Okay, right. Now I wrote something in the, at the beginning, people. For a cycle, delta U is zero. I know delta U C A. I know delta U B C. So let's do this. Delta U for the cycle is zero. What is delta U for the cycle, people? That is delta U A B A to B plus delta U B to C plus delta U C to A. That is whole thing is equal to zero. So what is delta U A to B? We don't know that. We have to find that. Plus delta U B to C, we just found out 40. Plus delta U C to A minus 160. Okay. Minus 160 and that is equal to zero. So ultimately, what can I say? From this equation, I can say definitely a uh, uh, delta U A to B is equal to minus 120 goes to the other side plus 120 joules. Okay, right. Then uh, the final uh, what step? Final step, and let's finish it off. We need to find out delta W. For that, what should we do? For delta for this process, actually, for A to B process, let's apply. First law of the thermodynamics, delta Q equals delta U plus delta W, easy. Delta Q is 200, delta U is 120 plus delta W A to B. And what is the final answer? Delta W A to B is going to be um, 200 minus 120 and that is going to be plus 80 joules. Work done by the gas, yeah, correct, plus 80. So first answer. So again, another cyclic process, analyze. This equation is very important when you, you, uh, you go for a cyclic process. Then you find uh, the delta, unknown delta U value. And then, then you can just substitute the values and get the answer. And you can apply this equation for individual processes as well. 2013, thermodynamics question from 2013. A system undergoes a cyclic process according to the PV diagram shown in figure. The work done by the system from A to B and from B to C. Work done A to B, B to C. We are supposed to mind that. All right. So you have to be careful. They are talking about two different processes. They are talking about two different processes. So work done from A to B and first of all, work done from B to C. I think the arrow, arrow must be interchanged here because there must be a printing mistake in this question. Arrow must be interchanged, I guess. Arrow must be interchanged. So they are saying B to C. No? Right. Okay. Uh, work done from B to C definitely it's zero. Why is that? Delta W B to C is definitely zero. Because uh, there is no change in volume, because constant volume. As long as the volume is constant, work done will be zero because uh, work done, let's uh, revise this, is P delta V. So when delta V is zero, there's no change in volume means there is no work done. Hence, uh, we can cancel out second and third answers. They can't be the answers because uh, wrong. For B to C, it's not zero. But the other answers we have zero, no problem. Now talking about A to B, I'll take A to B, uh, I use blue color to highlight. Talking about A to B, now this is the process. You're going from A to B, this is the process. So if you want to find the work done during that process, you have to consider the area below that line, the entire area below that line. You have to be careful, the entire area below that line, because we are talking about one process, not a cyclic process, a single process. So you have to take the area below that line like this. 
the entire area below that line okay so it looks like a trapezium to me it looks like a trapezium to me so what do you have to do you have to find the area of that trapezium delta v sorry delta w is area so what is the area of the trapezium half into uh, addition of parallel sides careful this length is 4 into 10 to the power 5 plus the other length is 6 into 10 to the power 5 into the height is this length height is this length this whole length should be taken as height and that is going to be 1.2 minus 0.4 that is 0.8 so 0.8 into 10 to the power minus 3 careful huh? this length is 0.8 into 10 to the power minus 3 meter cube we have substitute everything in si units okay so we will be getting uh, half into 10 into 10 to the power 5 half into 10 into 10 to the power 5 into 0.8 into 10 to the power minus 3 and i think uh, it's 400 is it 400 plus 400 joules plus 400 joules yeah the answer is definitely first okay they have given you a parallelogram to distract you to see if you will find the area of the parallelogram you have to be careful if you find the area of the parallelogram it's incorrect you have to find the area under the line ab a to b because they are talking about the work done during a process not during a cyclic process a single process so the answer is first question from 2014 question from 2014 what does it say an ideal gas can expand from state a to c so you can see a b c uh, along three dynamic thermodynamic paths a b c a c and a b c a d c a d c right a d c a c wait i will uh, wait uh, use different colors to indicate them because the diagram is not very clear so this is a t And C, A D C. This is A D C. And uh, this one, let's use uh, green color for A C. A C is directly this. A to C. Can see this is A to C. And finally, A B C. And this is A B C. A B. A to B, then to C. Right. Along which of the par above paths would be highest exchange of heat occur? Highest exchange of heat occur. Right. If you want to find out the highest exchange of heat, what should you do? Highest exchange of heat. First, you have to know for all three paths. For all three paths, who is constant? For all three paths. Uh, delta u is same why because starting point is a and uh, finishing point end ending point is c all three paths they start at a they start at c so you can say delta u is actually equal to uc minus ua for all three paths delta u is constant uh, but work done when you take work done it's different huh? work done so i will quickly uh, show you the work done if you take if you want to take work done for um dc you know adc we know work done during uh, ab is zero it's constant volume so only this area must be taken into consideration if you want to find out the work done by adc small area the blue color area i have highlighted okay right if you want to find out the work done during process a C. What should you do? You have to find the area under whole area under AC. So it's a bigger area. And if you want to find out the work done during ABC, during BC there will not be any work done, but during AB there will be a work done. This whole area must be considered for AB. So you can see the difference. All right. Uh, so when you compare the work done, delta W. will have the highest work done that will be ab ab process will have the highest work done and after that ac and after that only we will have uh, sorry it's not ab it's abc and then 
AC and then only ADC, the work done. Delta U is same. They're asking heat exchange occurs. We all know delta Q is equal to delta U plus delta W. Delta U is same for everyone. So if when delta W is large, delta Q should be large. Who has the largest delta W that is ABC. So conclusion, delta Q will be larger for ABC, for AC, for ABC. This is a past paper question. They have repeated the exact same thing. So which one is the answer? Paper? Third one should be the answer for this question. Third one should be the answer for this question. Third one, A, B. During A, B, C, sorry, during A, B, C. During A, B, C, guys, do of B, C, no work done, true. But during A, B, there will be a work done. The uh, part I have highlighted in red, so that is the largest amount of work done, all right? This question is from 2016. Next uh, thermodynamic question. An ideal gas is taken from state A to state B. State A to state B. Okay, the arrows are missing. Sorry, state A to state B along uh, two parts, A, C, B and A, D, B. A, D, B. So the arrows are missing in the diagram. So let's add them. This is how the question should have been. Okay, right. Uh, when going through path A, C, B, A, C, B, 100 joule of heat is absorbed Right, so let's uh, mark down those things. 100 joule of heat is absorbed. So delta Q ACB is plus 100. Absorbed. And 50 joule of work is done by the gas. 50 joule of work is done by the gas. Therefore, delta W ACB is going to be, sorry, delta W ACB is going to be plus 50 joules. Is that correct? ACB, yeah, correct. During AC, now from this diagram, you should be able to I understand Delta W A to C is zero. So Delta W C to B should have been plus 50. Because what they have given in the question is Delta W A C B. A C B means from here to here to here. But from A to C, no work is done. So whatever the work done during C to B should be uh, the whole work done. Right. If the work done by the gas when taking the path A B a D B is 10 joules. So when you take the path A D B, I will use a different color for that. A D B again, Delta W D B is zero because constant volume. So Delta W A D must be the total work done. And that will be plus 10 joules. Obviously it's work done by the gas because you can see volume is increasing. Now, when you go from A to D volume is increasing. So Delta W plus 10 joules. The amount of heat absorbed by the gas during path ADB. So we have to define the path ADB, right? Fine. Interesting. Yeah. Okay, people. Not that hard. Let's uh, let's finish this off. Now, during path ACB, they have given us delta Q and delta W. You know, using these two, you can find out. Uh, del we, we can apply delta Q equals to uh, delta U plus delta W for path A to C to B. What is delta Q? 100. Delta U, we have to find out. Delta U from A to C to B. Plus, delta, uh, I'll put delta U, A, C, B. Yeah. Plus delta W is 50. So, delta U, A, C, B is equal to, uh, what, 50. Plus 50 joules. Delta U, A, C, B, if it is 50, delta U, A, D, C should also be plus 50. Hope you all can agree with me on that. Why is that? Because for both processors, for both processors, where do we start? For both processors, the starting point is A and the end point or finishing point is B. Therefore, both the processors should have same internal energy change, change in internal energy. All right, fine. Uh, so I think we are almost done A, D, B. What is the question? Uh, the amount of heat absorbed by the gas during path ABD. The amount of heat absorbed, right, fine. So for path ADB, let's apply delta Q equal delta U plus delta W. Delta Q is uh, supposed to be found out, ADB. Delta U is uh, 50 plus delta W for path ADB it was given, right, somewhere. Path ADB, was it given? Uh, yeah, that was 10. Yeah, they have given. If the work done by the gas when taking 
the path adb is 10 so it's plus 10 right careful huh? that is delta w adb plus 10 10 so delta q adb finally we are getting plus 60 joules plus 60 joules and that should be the fourth answer Fourth one is the answer. Well, uh, this part should be A, D, B. Okay, so when I, when I wrote it, it, I made a small error. So, delta U, A, C, B and delta U, A, D, B both must be same because for both the starting point and the finishing point are same. This is the start. This is the finish end. Right. A certain mass of an ideal gas is taken from a uh, taken from A through a cyclic process uh, A, B, C, D, A. So starting from A going to B, then from B to C, C to D, D to A. So the process goes like this as shown in the PV diagram. Which of the following is not true? It's not true. Okay, cool. So if you take a few things, you can, before we uh, go to the answers, a few things we can decide is first of all, you can find the area of this one. And you can say uh, delta W, it's a positive value because it is uh, clockwise, correct? It's clockwise. Therefore, it's a positive value. And uh, delta U for the whole cycle, we all know, again, same concept, zero. If you are starting at A and if you are coming back to A, delta U will be zero. Then what about delta Q, people? Delta Q, we know delta U plus delta W. Delta U is zero. So delta W is a plus, therefore delta Q also has to be plus. What is the meaning of that one? Heat is absorbed by the gas. It's absorbed by the gas, right. Uh, yeah, let's go through it and questions. Work done by the gas through the section of the path ABC. ABC is equal to the area ABC LKA. Is that correct? ABC uh, Can you say that? Okay, yeah, right. Below, if you have a process, they are talking about process. So, when you take a line like this, a process like this in the diagram, and if you want to find the area, uh, sorry, work done due to that, you can take the area below that uh, with x-axis, area below that with x-axis, area below that with x-axis. So this is going to be the work done. So first one looks okay to me. Let's see, next one. Net heat absorbed by the gas after completing the cycle is zero. That is incorrect. This is going to be the answer, not true. Because there, is, there will be a net heat absorbed, no people? Because when you complete the cycle, there will be a delta W work done. Delta U is zero, okay, but delta Q can't be zero. So definitely the second one should be the answer. Net work done by the gas after completing the cycle is equal to the area A, B, C, D, A. A, B, C, D, A, correct. That's what we have marked here. Net change in internal energy of the gas after completing the cycle is zero. Yeah, we've been discussing about this over and over again during a cyclic process, delta U is zero. Net change in temperature of the gas after completing the cycle is zero net change in temperature yes net change in temperature means initial temperature minus final temperature initial is also temperature at a final is also temperature at a so net change in temperature is also uh, what zero because when you say delta u cycle is zero delta t cycle is also going to be what zero so the answer to this question has to be second one So this is a thermodynamic question from A level 2018. Uh, it's a kind of a qualitative question, not a quantitative one. They have not given a graph or anything, but still we have to know this, right? Fine, let's go. Um, in a certain thermodynamic process in which an ideal gas is used, the increase in internal energy of the gas is equal to the heat supplied uh, to the system, the processes. So this is the key part we have to focus on. The increase in internal energy of the gas is equal to the heat supplied to the gas. So what are they saying? They are saying um, delta U must be equal to delta Q. 
that is what this blue color part underlying part says so what is the conclusion so delta w has to be zero if you want delta w to be zero who should be zero constant uh, delta v must be zero so constant volume process that's it very easy fourth one is the answer for this question right uh, very very straightforward question very very straightforward fourth one is the answer but still uh, let's just check uh, what happens for other processes as well all right so first of all let's start with the cycle i'll put a cyclic process in the first one what will happen uh, a cyclic process means we can say delta u is equal to 0 therefore in the cyclic process you can say delta q is equal to delta w work done is equal to heat supply okay right and the second one it's an adiabatic process We're talking about the second one in an adiabatic process remember delta q is equal to 0 if delta q is 0 zero, zero uh, we know the equation is this uh, delta q is equal to delta u plus delta w when you say delta q is 0 then delta u plus delta w therefore delta u will be equal to minus delta w or you can say delta w is equal to minus delta u in future questions you might come across these things and the second third one constant pressure process constant pressure process won't make a big change people constant pressure process won't make a big change so we can't define anything constant pressure pressure process means okay never mind just consider if you take a pv diagram if you have a process like this that is called the constant pressure process so we can't really say anything there right it can be an arrow like this or an arrow like this arrow can be either way so under that there will be delta w there will be delta w delta w will not be zero because there is an area under that there is an area under that and delta u will also not be zero because the temperatures are different if you take this as a if you take this as b these points the temperatures at a and b are definitely not equal to zero not sorry not they are not equal definitely not equal therefore delta u also it's not zero delta u also not zero so there will be a delta q as well so we can't any see say anything significant there finally there is one more process that is uh, isothermal process fifth one what is an isothermal process during an isothermal process delta u is equal to zero constant temperature therefore you can say delta q is going to be equal to delta w same as uh, it's not similar to the first one remember a cyclic process and isothermal process are not the same now cyclic process means your graph will look like this cyclic process means you have to complete a cycle something like this you have to complete a cycle this is what you call a cyclic process on the other hand when you say an isothermal process your graph has to be it's a single process pv diagram it will look like this boyle's law graph okay boyle's law graph right so uh, the answer is very easy for this question but i just wanted to do a small analysis of other Uh, given options as well, so that you have a thorough idea about what's going on. Next question is from April 2019. An ideal gas expands from state A to C along two different paths. A to C along two different paths. So one path is A B C, the other path is A D C. It's not a cyclic process. Careful. A B C, A D C, two different paths, as shown in the PV diagram. Right. So for my uh, clarity i'll just uh, mark the parts in two different colors but it will not be like that in the paper but for the explanation sake i'll just mark them so that we are not going to get confused red and blue are the colors right right and here you have this Um, the heat absorbed by the gas during the processes a b and b c are 200 and 700 a b and b c right why don't we mark those things here itself right here uh, delta q a b is given as uh, how much 200 joules plus it absorbed and uh, delta q b c is given as uh, 700 heat is absorbed right heat absorbed so plus 700 respectively what is the change in internal energy when the gas expands along adc wow okay 
Now talking about ADC people, talking about ADC, talking about ADC. Yeah, good. Talking about ADC, um, delta W here will be zero. Delta W DC will be equal to zero. We can find uh, delta W AD here. This area below this will give us delta W AD. Correct. This area will give us delta W AD A to D. So let's find that out. Delta W AD will be equal to this area. And what is that area? That area is going to be um, 2 into 10 to the power 4 multiplied by this cap is 3 into 10 to the power minus 3. We need to use this cap, okay? This cap and this height. So the answer is 60, is it? Plus 60 joules. Plus 60 joules. Because the area is increasing. So it's plus 60. Plus 60 joules. Okay, that is uh, delta W A D. So I know delta W A D C. Delta W A D C people, delta W A D C is going to be delta W A D plus delta W D C. We know delta W D C is zero. No? Therefore, it's 60 plus zero. Answer is 60. 60 joules. That is the work done during A D C. They are asking for the uh, internal energy change A D C. So I need delta Q A D C. Delta Q A D C. Uh, okay. Delta Q A D C. Right, but no, you don't. We can't find delta Q A D C. What you can do is easiest method is finding the internal energy change from A A B C because uh, internal energy change from A B C and A D C are equal, na. Yeah, that's the best way of doing it. Yeah, so so this is really useless. What I have done is useless, in, to be honest. Yeah, good. Sorry. Now, first and foremost, let's establish something, people. That's this uh, delta U, delta U A B C. That is equal to delta U A D C. Do you all agree with me on that? Why is that? Because for both starting point is A. And the finishing point is C for both the processes. Therefore, delta U will be same. So if we find delta U A, B, C, that means I know the delta U of A, D, C. That is the question. Internal energy when the gas expands along path A, B, C. Right. So let's try to find out delta U A, B, C. Now delta Q A, B, C, we already know. Delta Q A, B, C. What is it? Delta Q A, B, C is going to be equal to delta Q A, B plus delta Q, B, C. And how much is that? That is 200 plus 700, both were plus, therefore final answer is plus 900 joules. And you can find out delta W A B C. What is that? Delta W uh, A B plus delta W B C. What is delta W A B? That is zero because it's constant volume process. Delta W B C, that is going to be the area under line B C, the area under line B C. That's the whole thing. So I will highlight that and indicate that to you, the red color line like this. This whole area must be taken uh, to find out the delta W. Delta W uh, B C, right? So the area will be what? Um, the total height is 6 into 10 to the power 4. And that should be multiplied by, multiplied by um, what? 3 into 10 to the power minus 3. Right. Therefore, the answer is plus 180 joules. Plus 180 joules. That's it. So for A, then for ABC, if you apply delta Q equals delta U plus delta W, delta Q is how much? A 900. Delta U we have to find out ABC. Delta W is 180. Therefore, the final answer will be 720 plus 720 joules. That is delta U A B C. But we know delta U A B C is equal to delta U A D C. So finally, you can say delta U A D C is also equal to 720 joules. Answer should be third one for this question. Wait. 
This is the latest question from thermodynamics in physics syllabus, uh, A-level 2020. So they have given this diagram, let's see. Two thermodynamic processes, ABC, ABC, and AC, directly AC. So one is this, one is this process, ABC, and the other one is the other process, right? Just highlighting it so that uh, you won't get confused. It's not a cyclic process. Keep that in mind. These are two separate processes like this. Right. Uh, shown in the figure. Now, okay, whenever you get a question like that, the first, first and foremost thing you can do is uh, delta U A B C should be equal to delta U A C. Why? Because uh, start and start is A in this uh, C. Therefore, delta U should be equal for both. In the process ABC, six kilojoules heat is absorbed. ABC, six kilojoules heat is absorbed. Therefore, delta Q ABC is equal to plus six kilojoules. So they are dealing in kilojoules this time. Let's use that. No need to convert it because the answers are also in kilojoules. But the system, uh, Oh, no, 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 no. In the process ABC, 6 kilojoules heat is absorbed by the system to go from A to B. Uh -huh. So it's not the entire thing, it's only A to B. Okay, from A to B it is 60. And uh, 1.8 kilojoules is absorbed from B to C. Delta Q B to C is equal to 1.8 plus 1.8 kilojoules absorbed. Okay, that is from A to B and B to C. Right. What is the change in internal energy in the process AC? So the question is, what is delta U AC? What is delta U AC? Right. Uh, fine. Now, just like I said before, we can't find out, uh, you know, instead of finding delta U AC, if you find out delta U ABC, then you have the answer because delta U ABC is equal to delta U AC. So let's try to find out delta U A B C. Okay, fine. So first of all, uh, delta Q A B C. Delta Q A B C people, that is equal to delta Q A B plus delta Q B C. So what is the what are the values? Six plus one point eight, and therefore it's seven point eight kilojoules. And uh, when you talk about delta W A B C, it is uh, delta W A B plus delta W B C. We all know delta W A B has to be zero. Why is there no volume change? Constant volume, therefore delta W for that is zero. When delta W B C, delta W B C will be given by the area below that line. So it's quite similar to the previous question we did, quite similar. And this area I'm highlighting right now, that is the uh, that area will represent the work done during B C. This area is uh, delta W B C. So, so what is the value? What should you should have put there? Careful. Um, this height is actually total height must be substituted. That is 8 into 10 to the power of 5 Pascal and multiplied by this length must be substituted and that length is going to be 2 and 5. The difference is 3. 3 into 10 to the power minus 3. Therefore, that is going to be 3 into sorry, uh, 3 into 10 to the power minus 3. Yeah, for the final answer we are getting, that will be uh, 24, 2400 joules, is it? 2400 joules, 24 into 10 to the power 2. Uh, but they, everything is in kilojoules, so if you convert that into kilojoules, 2.4 kilojoules. 2.4 kilojoules, right. That is the answer we are getting, delta W, right. So we have to find delta Q uh, for process ABC. What are we going to do? We are going to apply first law of thermodynamics. Delta Q, 7.8. Delta U, we don't know. Delta W is 2.4. Oh, we are getting an answer. Delta U is equal to 5.4 kilojoules. I'm getting 5.4 kilojoules. But uh, this is, this is uh, incorrect. This is incorrect because the graphs 
starts from one actually this this height if you see close look closely graph star doesn't start from zero graph starts from one because look at this eight for seven six five four three two one so we have the graph starts from one therefore this height is not eight actually it should be seven seven into ten to the power five pascal the difference so what we substitute here was incorrect it should be seven so this is 2100 so this is 2.1 kilojoules 2.1 kilojoules we have to substitute 2.1 kilojoules then it should be 5.7 kilojoules 5.7 kilojoules that's why for this question they had given all as the answer because uh, yeah if you do it the other way you are getting 5.4 but unfortunately it's uh, erroneous because the graph doesn't start from round and i think the people who took the paper also must have done like that that's why they have put this as the answer the 5.7 is missing okay so that's why for this question answer was all p answer was all in the scheme for this question so hope you understood but anyways yeah there there can be issues like that if you come across an issue like that don't worry you are good they are definitely going to get a free mark for this question um just try to understand the concept how do you approach a question like this when they give you two different uh, processes starting from the same point and finishing at the same point for both the processes delta u is zero that is the basic uh, that is the initial point you have to make and then you you, you if you focus on one process one process one path actually you know the process one path then uh, it's easy the question will become easy but still there is another issue when you want to take a, the work done by a certain process in a pv diagram you have pressure and volume and if you take a process like this which is process bc in this case the area must be taken until x axis area until x axis therefore you, the area should go until zero so that issue is there in this graph um they must uh, uh, in my opinion the graph is wrong they must have given the graph until zero then only this question we can do it most correctly but anyways just try to understand the concept um you will get all was the answer in this case. 